This activity is designed to help students become familiar with regressions and residuals and how to use them to interpret data. First, students will open the statistics application from the menu. Students will then enter the years into list 1 and the CO2 levels into list 2. For the sake of time, I have already entered the numbers into the statistics application. Students will then create a scatter plot of the data. You do this by tapping this toolbar button and you can zoom in and out uh, or use the zoom box to zoom in just specifically on the data you want to view. The students will now use the calculator to perform a linear regression. Tap in the statistics window to make it active and choose Calc Linear Regression. When the dialog box opens, the X list should be list 1, the Y list should be list 2, frequency should be 1, and we want to make sure to copy the residuals into list 3. Tap OK. Students can record their results in the box provided so they have the information to answer the following questions. You can tap OK to get out of this window, and the line will draw. Students will then create a residual plot. Tapping back in the statistics window, we see that the residuals have been pasted into list 3. We can go to set graph and settings, and we want to change the Y list to list 3, where our residuals are. Tap set, and now tap the graph button, and there's our residual plot. Students will use this plot to answer some questions and do further exploration. At the end of the worksheet, there are two sets of data for students to practice on. They will construct different regressions and the residual plots to try and determine which regression gives the best fit for the data. I hope you and your students enjoy and benefit from this activity.